I'm here with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo IdeaPad 320 laptop and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how to repaste or clean up your cooling system on these models. If your laptop is running hot this video is for you. If it's lagging or over throttling this is for you or you just want to simply open it up and see what's inside and clean it up just follow the video this applies for any idea pad 320 series all right so let's get into it and let's get it started first thing tools that you're going to be needing is main one is a towel a working towel that you're going to be needing i'll leave the link in the description you're going to be needing alcohol 95 percent minimum alcohol uh, opening tool, I use a guitar pick, a metallic guitar pick for opening tool. You will need uh, your favorite thermal paste. I use the Arctic MX4 or you can go with a better version or a little more expensive uh, thermal grizzly. You can do that one. They have a ther nice thermal paste. Those are one of the best ones and second best is the MX4 Arctic. And the main tool that to get open, you need an opening tool set. I use this screwdriver set. It's called, it's from the iFixit tool set. They have all the bits that you need. And this base tool set, it was gonna last you forever. Unlike the other tools brands, you're gonna be using the Philips number zero from this set. All right, first thing first, you wanna power off the laptop completely. Once the laptop is powered off, you want to flip it over and down here we're going to start removing all the screws at the bottom cover. So start removing from one corner. Also I realized that only not even 1% of my viewers are subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it if my videos are helping you guys out. Um, by seeing me answering your questions, your comments and your requests. It would be really nice if you guys click that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. It really helps and motivates me to make more videos and take requests. Once you remove the screws at the bottom, just grab the DVD tray right here and pull it out. Yours might be an actual DVD drive here. This version doesn't have a DVD drive. Next, you want to open up the laptop in 45 degree angle. You want to grab your opening tool. And you want to stick it between the bottom and the top cover about two or three millimeters right in there. You don't want to stick the whole thing right there. And you want to just work it around, just twist it. And you're going to hear some clicks and you want to see the case opening. Go to the side, go to the right and left side, same thing, just work it around. Go all the way to the back corner. Right there. And now you can close it down. Lift up the bottom cover, work it around a little bit, and then pull it up. And if you want to go ahead and clean up the mesh, dust mesh right here, clean them up. And there we have it all inside. In this model, you see obviously there is no fan in here, and there is no GPU installed on this one. If yours might have a GPU, you might have another bracket X clamp right here holding from these two screws holes right there. And you might have a screw a fan right here. All right, first thing first, you want to disconnect the battery. So to disconnect the battery, there's a three screw holding it. One on this side, one right by the jack, one right by the hard drive. The screws are all the same size. Grab the battery from the back end, lift it up a little bit. And now you want to pull it using this cable, just pull it towards the front end of the laptop and the battery will get released. Next, we need to remove the heatsink. If yours has a fan, there's only one screw right here. Remove this screw right to the left of the heatsink. If there might be a screw right there holding this plastic, it's just a logic. Remove these screws. Remove the screws on the X clamp. Lose them up. They will not come out, but there's a C lock on them. Just You just have to twist and lose them up. If you have a bracket over here, remove the two screws for this bracket and lift it up. There's a Wi-Fi cable running all around it. So you want to untangle this Wi-Fi cable. You just 
going zigzagging right around the case. So I entangle that. And the heat sink with the fan or without the fan, it should come out. And there you can see the old thermal paste on the heat sink and on the GPU, on the CPU or GPU. What do you want to do here? You want to rip a little bit of the working towel, grab an alcohol, and start gently rubbing on the die of the CPU and the GPU. Do a circular motion, don't press too hard. Be careful with the capacitors on the side. You don't want to blow those capacitors. So gently, just go ahead and clean up the CPU. And also clean up the heat sink. Also clean up this end. If you have a GPU, clean up the same thing right here. And clean up the GPU in case you have one. Once you finish with that, grab your thermal paste, put a small drop right in the middle. Don't worry if you put too much, it's not conductive, so it's not going to shorten anything. Just put a little drop right in the middle. Grab the fan, the heatsink, but don't place it yet. First run the cable for the Wi-Fi. Start from this corner right here. You can do this after or before, i rather do it right now. The screw holes right there, so pull the cable, make sure it's not stretching the cable. Bring it over, make sure first I put this corner down, and then bring it over, set it right there, and don't lift it up once you put it down. Put the screws. Once you put the CPU screws, put the GPU screws in case you have one. Put the screw for the fan or the heatsink on this corner. Run the cable for the Wi-Fi machine running right behind all these connectors. Right there. Grab the battery. Bring it over. Align the jack. Push the jack with your thumb right toward the motherboard. Right there. Align the battery. Put the three screws for the battery. All right. Now, once we finish down here, if you have a fan here, you can just grab an air duct, uh, air compressor, and clean up with an old toothbrush. Clean the fan if you want to. Grab the bottom cover, align it on top. Press the corners all around. Don't press in the middle. There's nothing to press in there, and you're gonna hear some clicking. All right, once you finish with that, grab your DVD drive, slide it right in place. And the last thing would be to grab the bottom screws and screw them right on top. And, I, and again, if you guys like this video, please click that thumbs up button. And if you have any questions or requests, leave them in the comment area and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm just going to finish up putting the screws right here.